Hey guys, in today's video I want to talk about a very common problem that I see at the recreational level on the serve and that is an over rotation but it's not that simple it's actually a rotation that's sequenced completely wrong that's leading to really bad problems on the serve so in today's video I want to show you what this problem is and also give you a solution on how to fix it and don't worry I'm not going to do this sitting down I'm going to get up I need a few balls in order to demonstrate this issue okay guys so let me show you what this problem looks like now take a look at my back foot as I'm doing a serve take a look you see how that back foot is coming around simultaneously with my upper body rotating take a look so this is something that I see super frequently at the recreational level I would say if I'm doing 10 video analysis on serve at least five out of ten players have this specific problem so what's going to happen on your serve if you indeed are coming around too early with that back leg and you're spinning around almost simultaneously with the back leg and the upper body rotating like this is that you're going to completely miss out on a very important power source on a serve which is forward momentum in other words you're going to be basically spinning yourself in a circle okay so let me show you what you should be doing instead so there shouldn't be any spinning around simultaneously with your feet and the torso what should happen is a torso rotation that is sequenced in a different way so take a look first so if you're looking at the tennis serve in real time it's going to be impossible to see the sequencing of the torso rotation but don't worry i'm going to break it down for you in great detail so when the serve is loaded and about to be unloaded we're going to have a loaded position where the elbow on a serve with a, quite a large coil the elbow is going to be behind the body now if you are not flexible enough to get the elbow all the way here and you have the elbow to the level of your torso this is still okay a lot of wta players serve like this i made a separate video about this you can uh, check it out and regardless if you have the elbow to at least this position or most players will have it a little bit further back the first link in the chain so the first thing that happens as far as the rotation of the torso is that the elbow will go from this position to this position you can see from this angle you can see my elbow on this side now the first thing that happens is once i drop the racket the elbow will come out on this side and this is happening in isolation meaning that the torso will not rotate while my elbow goes from here to here Now here's where things get interesting now remember there's going to be other things happening on the surf independently from this which is vertical momentum and the body will get airborne when the racket is about the level where it points towards the ground this is where the body usually will be airborne but this is irrelevant to how torso rotation works because here's the super important thing about torso rotation on a tennis serve is that it has to be delayed in other words the sideways position of the torso has to be held as long as possible and once we get this position of the racket where the tip of the racket is pointing towards the back fence this is where we can start bringing that dominant shoulder into the contact meaning we are going to rotate the torso into the ball now remember this will only happen on a flat serve and a slice serve on a kick serve we are not going to rotate into the contact and we are going to remain sideways Now here's what's so important to understand when we're talking about this specific problem of players over rotating and coming around too early with this leg is that they're unable to go forward while they're doing this but it's not only that it's also they're rotating at the wrong time too early leading to a position where they're most likely hitting the ball with the entire body open and now the racket is most likely going to be too far behind their head and this is not a strong position to be in what should happen at the moment of contact is the following the entire body will rotate however the hips will be held back have you ever seen professional players at the moment of contact and their body uh, looks kind of weird so if you imagine uh, this being the upper body and this being the legs it almost seems as the legs are uh, straight and the upper body is tilted downward now the reason why players look like that at contact is something that's super important when we're talking about this specific problem of players over rotating and coming around with that back leg too early so what needs to happen is that the right hip on right handers and the right leg needs to be held 
back and this is why players look so weird when they make contact with the ball you don't want to bring the right hip and the right leg around too early on the service motion because ultimately what that will result in is what i described earlier it is a spinning movement of the body around the left leg and now it's going to be very difficult to execute any type of forward method take a look again if i rotate my right hip and the right leg too early in the service motion end up spinning around my left leg in a circle so what needs to happen is that the right hip and the right leg especially need to be held back so here's the progression that i want you to do if you have the problem of your back leg coming around too early at the same time as the right shoulder if you have this on the serve this is the progressions that will solve your problem first of all you're going to take the legs out of the equation you're going to serve stationary when this is the case don't throw the ball too far forward you throw it a little bit further behind and i just simply rotate your upper body but the legs will need to be stuck to the ground so when you serve stationary you're going to be building the correct muscle memory into your serve stationary means that the feet are going to be on the ground unable to go up and when you do this and you go through your rotation on the serve it will naturally be correct and the lower half of your body will be in the correct positions as you execute your serve let me show you so this is a stationary serve and i take a look at how my body is positioned you can see that my torso rotated but if you take a look at my hips you can see that the right hip is behind the left hip you can see that the right foot is behind the left foot now if you look at my normal serve the one with forward momentum and vertical momentum you will see the same positions take place so while I'm unaware exactly what my body is doing on the serve it just happens way too quickly we can see that through the entirety of the service motion my right hip was always behind my left hip through the entirety of the service motion my right leg was behind my left leg so the way the rotation on the serve is sequenced is while the upper body is rotating the hip and the foot never fully comes through and it never ever crosses the line of the front foot and goes like this so the second progression that i want you to do if you have this problem of over rotating too early in your service motion is that you're going to try to keep your back foot behind at all times do not allow that back foot to cross the line of your front foot and you're actually going to do a proper service motion the only thing that i want you to focus on is keeping that back foot behind the front foot at all times so what's going to happen when you try to keep your back leg behind is that the torso rotation will be naturally sequenced correctly see what happens on a serve in reality is the following the entire body will rotate into the context so if you look at players hitting a flat and a slice serve you will see that the feet are pointing forward and that the chest is completely open however if you look at the position of the feet in relation to the court you'll see that the back foot is behind the front foot and the back hip is behind the front hip and now as the player starts to go through his finish the feet will actually start separating so the front foot will be much further away from the back foot so what you're doing in the second progression is that you're training your body to make this separation happen naturally by intending to keep your back foot behind at all times you will also naturally start to separate the feet a little bit more and then once you get towards the bottom portion of your serve and that right shoulder starts to come down a little bit naturally that back leg will kick up and now the third progression is actually going to be to hit normal serves and hopefully your body will remember the first two progressions and this will be built into your new muscle memory and guys the great thing about serving like this is that the forward momentum is one of these most effortless ways to create power on the serve and if you are indeed spinning in a circle like this you are losing that effortless forward momentum so by doing all the things that i mentioned in this video forward momentum will be a lot easier and your serve will have more power and by power i'm talking about easy power that's the best power there is when it comes the effortless way when you're using your body weight to get more momentum into the ball and you will accomplish that by applying forward momentum into your serve